Hi there, this is the first part on, in a series of tutorials on using the Bone tool in Flash to animate a character. Now we've got some files already made um, to start you off, so I'm going to open up this file um, called Jazzy Number, which contains some music. So when it opens up you'll see that there's one layer in here which contains a music uh, track, and you'll see a waveform here which indicates the kind of beats of the music as it plays. Now this layer is already locked because we don't need to make any changes to it but next what I'm going to do is insert a new layer and then we'll import the parts of the character that we're going to animate. So if I go to the file menu and choose import and then import to stage I want to import this file here which is an Adobe Photoshop file and it's made up of um, a series of layers like this um, which are the different parts of um, a guitar playing cat. So you need to make sure that all these checkboxes are ticked and then click OK and Flash will import um, all these graphics um, into different layers. OK, now it's a bit big for this uh, stage so what I'm going to do is use the free transform tool to select that and holding down shift I will just drag the edge and then grab the whole thing and just move it back up onto the stage. So just resizing it and positioning it on the stage like so. Now for Flash to be able to use the bone tool we need to convert each of these objects into um, movie clip symbols. So there's the head object which you see is on this layer, the head layer. There is an, two arms and there is also the body which also contains the guitar. So I'm going to have to select these in turn and convert them to um, movie clip symbols. So I'll select the body first of all and then from the modify menu I will choose convert to symbol and I'll call this body. And I'll do that for each of these parts. So next I'll select one of the arms, modify, convert to symbol, I'll call this one right arm because it's on my right and then I'll do the same with this arm, I'll call that one left arm and then finally there's the head of the cat and I'll just call that head like so. So all of these parts have to be converted to symbols before we can use the bone tool on them. Now what the bone tool does is it allows you to join objects together so it makes it more um, easy to animate. So now that I've converted all these to symbols I will choose the bone tool which is over here in the toolbar I'm going to create one bone which goes from the base of the body up to about the nose of the cat that joins these two objects together. I'm going to create another bone from the original base of the first bone to um, the elbow of that arm there and then a further bone which goes from there to the shoulder of the cat like so. Now I need to make sure that the head um, is not obscured by any other part of the body. So for example if I click the head and drag it around you see it's actually behind that arm. Okay so I need to rearrange um, the layers if you like. So I'll do that by choosing modify and then arrange and then bring to front and that will move the head in front of these arms. Okay it just makes a little bit more sense. Okay so that's the, uh, the, the bones set up um, so that we can animate this this character. Now when Flash creates um, bones it joins them together to form a thing called an armature or a skeleton. So that's why we've got this new layer here called armature 2. Now all the other layers are redundant now so I'm just going to delete them like so including the guitar layer and even layer 1 so we now only have the music and the armature layers and that's ready um, for us to start animating, but that will be in part two of this tutorial.